picture yourself working in an office cubicle with and not playing the cello, what would that do to you? Um, I'd, I'd be very, very bad at it. I would really piss off my superiors and I'd probably, I would get the sack. <laughs> I'm Frances Bartlett and I'm from the south of England and I live in Barcelona at the moment. Where to next? The rehearsal, to see if it sounds any good. <laughs> I've been here for two years and I'm a classically trained cellist. And I perform classical music with orchestras and quartets. But I also like specialise in contemporary classical music. And I also compose jazzy, poppy stuff with a string quartet. <laughs> I played in St. Petersburg in a park with the dancers and I started off playing Bach, lying on my back, watching the swallows fly in the sky and the clouds. And then, as part of the piece, we sprinted right across the park, the size of a football pitch, and then sprinted point being, I had this feeling I was just being a child and just letting everything go and just completely playing. My perfect day in Barcelona is just walking around the streets, looking at the light in the in the afternoon, in the old, in the Gothic quarter, the light is amazing in the afternoon. And the way it falls on all the different, on all the stones, the textures and the walls. Um, it's a very inspiring city to, you're constantly being fed images. And um, a lot of, spending a lot of time eating. <laughs> it's perfect, perfect. <laughs> For me, if you're listening to God, and if you're following what's inside, and if you're trying to clear all the gunk and shit, if you're actually able to listen to what's inside, then you can just start living the life the way you want to live your life and start doing the things you want to do. It can be a prophetic thing. You ask the spirit to just... Well, no, you don't even ask, man. The spirit just comes and you, your art, your performance becomes a gift to the people, symbolizing something to them. How, how important is it to you that your music can touch other people? Or it's essential. If it doesn't touch people, there's no reason of being in front of them. You may as well just go and work behind a computer doing something that doesn't touch anybody. As a performer, you have to have a real responsibility for what is inside. Because whatever is inside of you will hit and enter somebody else. The subsidies for fun finding funding for music and the arts and dance is just so few and far between and it's really the most essential thing that that people need in society. They need to be touched. They need to be reminded that they're actually human, not little machines in the big system. Well, maybe it's too idealized, but it's essential. <laughs>